show, Courtney Davis alongside Adam Doyle. A huge week on tap for the Red Raiders as they welcome in the third-ranked team in the country, the TCU Horn Frogs, to open up Big 12 play here at Jones AT&T Stadium. But before we get started, Adam, you were in Arkansas for a huge matchup against the Razorbacks where Texas Tech really took command early on and never let go in route to the 35-24 win. Yeah, they scored touchdowns. They didn't kick any field goals, except for at the end of the game where they missed one. But the game was really taken care of by that point. They were so efficient. And, and really, Patrick Mahomes didn't have a crazy passing day. He only had over 200 yards, but he was 26 of 30. And they didn't beat themselves with penalties. That's how you have to win games against good teams. If you don't beat yourself, we've said it numerous times on this show, this offense can score against anybody. And they proved it on the road in a very tough road test. And for the first time in a long time around here, a Big 12 Defensive Player of the Week, Jashawn Johnson, really made his presence known in a 16 tackle. Yeah, 16 tackles, that's nuts. He really had his nose in almost every single play, and he sealed the deal at the end of the game as well, Fantastic. ripping the ball yeah. away from Collins and sealing that win. Uh, that was just really an exclamation point on an absolutely tremendous game for him. And that's one of those trendsetter type of performances that for a defense that hasn't been great in, in recent history, if they can get a performance like that again this week, man, it can really snowball into just a great year overall. Well, we mentioned the defense was fantastic. Only gave up three points in the second half in a tough SEC environment. What's it really going to take, though, and what's going to be the biggest takeaway this week as they face a dynamic offense led by Trayvon Boykin? You know, the kids done a good job, but it uh, doesn't surprise me. They, they do it in practice. Um, you know, all spring and all two-a-days, I thought they did a nice job trying to rip and punch and, and do all the things you have to do to, to, to create fumbles. And They all went through it last year. I think nine of those guys are back. And then Coach Gibbs coming in, new scheme. Um, the way he handles himself, his calm demeanor, you can see that they feed off that. We've em emphasized it um, in our coaching and every drill. So just a hard, hard mentality. Um, just be willing to go 100% every play. Eight takeaways through three games. This defense really has it cooking under David Gibbs, but it's another beast, as Coach Kingsbury has said, and it's really going to be, it could be a shootout between a high-powered Texas Tech offense and Patrick Mahomes and Trayvon Boykin and the Frogs. Right, Trayvon Boykin obviously in the Heisman race right now. Tremendous athlete, and when Sonny Cumbie left here and went over there, he made him a completely different player. He really is dynamic running the ball and throwing the ball, but this offense isn't just passing coming from Cumby. They've thrown it 109 times and they've rushed it 130 times. Aaron Green, the running back for TCU, a tremendous athlete. And Boykin, a guy that can really extend the play, much like Patrick Mahomes, they can both extend the play. And, and that's really going to help David Gibbs this week as he prepares, seeing a quarterback that's very similar to the one he'll face this week. DeAndre Washington, a very similar running back to Aaron Green. So you're going to see two very similar offenses this week. Well, if you have a seat inside Jones AT&T Stadium, you're in for a treat. It is sold out. So if you have your ticket, you are one of the 60,000 lucky ones. If you don't, you can catch the game on Fox Sports. But Adam, before I let you get out of here, what's going to be the key? We know there's a chance for a lot of points to be put up on the scoreboard, but what's going to be a key to move to 4-0 and and arguably the biggest upset around here in a really long time. Right, unless you live under a rock, you probably heard that TCU <laughs> has a major suspension on the defensive line from this last week. But that's not just the only thing. They have at least seven other contributors that are not going to be on the field this weekend on the defensive side of the ball. Gary Patterson has taken two of his safeties and moved them to the linebacker position, so they're going to be undersized. You don't just gain the weight and, and fill that position adequately immediately. So run the football. DeAndre Washington leads the Big 12 in rushing yards with 287 yards right now. Run the football against them. You have one of the best offensive lines in the country. I think this is the game. DeAndre Washington's already a great player. He had a tremendous season, but this is the game where he steps up and has a crazy big performance, just in my opinion. Well, and there's no doubt the run game will open up the pass game, and it really could be a special night, but you cannot give TCU any extra opportunities. You've got to take care of the football. You've got to be efficient in the red zone, and I think you take care of those three things. It could be a really special night. Catch the game at 345 Central Time on Fox or else keep up all weekend long at texastech.com, at texastech.tv, or on Twitter, at Tech Athletics. Also, tune in live Monday for Coach Kingsbury's weekly press conference here on Texas Tech TV beginning at 11.45 a.m.